comfy. Your head's cut off. Hello? <laughs> Welcome back to my series, Make My Space Work, the show where we gift hardworking entrepreneurs with a complete office transformation. I'm your host and design expert, Alexandra, and this episode is so exciting because it is our first ever surprise makeover. Prava owns Sri Sanskriti Dance Academy, and she opened this dance studio 15 years ago. She is a pillar in her community, but the studio itself is dated and in desperate need of a refresh. Fun fact, there has not been one new furniture purchase made for this dance studio in 15 years. Her family actually got in touch with us here at Make My Space Work and nominated her for a surprise makeover and I couldn't be more thrilled. She is so deserving of this transformation. Just a reminder that this series is made possible by Shopify, the complete commerce platform for you to start, grow, and manage a business. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. We have so many more fun makeovers just like this one that you don't want to miss. My name is Shri. And my mom, Prabha, started Sri Sanskriti Dance Academy 15 years ago, but she's been teaching Bharatanatyam for over three decades now. My mom started Sri Sanskriti Dance Academy really as a labor of her love. I think she was ready to start something on her own after teaching dance for so many years. She is probably one of the most dedicated patient teachers I have ever met. She's here seven days a week and she really is a pinnacle for the community and a real support for all of her students. This space really is a special space. On a regular non-COVID kind of week, we have like 150 plus children and parents walking through these doors. Bharatanatyam is one of those dance forms that you start when you're little and you do it your whole life. So this place really is filled with a lot of laughter and love and lessons and sweat and tears. When we got this space a little over 10 years ago, it really was about getting it up and ready as quickly as possible. All of the money gets reinvested into the students, the costumes, the shows, but the space has just been a collection of ours and other people's leftover furniture. So earlier this year, my dad, my sister, and I thought that we would redo her studio as a surprise for her 15th anniversary, which we're celebrating this year. And of course, when COVID hit, all of that kind of changed. The entire academy had to move online. With school reopening in September and a couple of classes coming back to the studio, we felt like the timing would be really great to get this project started again and surprise her to show her that, you know, this academy is still just as important as it was one year ago and that people are really excited to be back in these four walls. I think my mom has figured out that something is going on in the studio and I don't think she really understands what and to what extent. It's been a really hard time for a lot of small businesses and this is really going to pump some good energy into the space. Alexandra, please help us make the space work. So obviously when the pandemic hit, Prava, like most small businesses, had to shut down. So I am honored that I get to redo this space for her and give her like a tiny mini celebration. This is such a large space. So Shri and her dad are having the whole studio painted white, which alone is gonna make a huge difference. There are also mirrors that are gonna be installed later on down the line, which is really also gonna open up the space. Today we're mostly gonna be focusing on the waiting area. This is the room where families wait for students to finish their dance lesson. And right now it's a mismatch of furniture. It's just not comfy or cozy. I wanna make it more inviting. I wanna add lots of layers and colors and textures. My goal is to really transform this space so it reflects how important Prava is to not only her family, but the community as a whole. So it's currently 6.30 in the morning. It's pretty dark outside. Today is a really exciting makeover. It's something we've never done before on this channel. It is a complete surprise makeover, which means that we have one day, 12 hours to pull this entire makeover off. Time is of the essence because Shri's mom is coming in the evening. We have to be done. So we've gotten a head start. Shri and her dad painted the whole studio white. And yesterday Chico got a head start at painting the accent wall, but we gotta hustle. So Chico should be here now. Do you wanna say hi to the viewers at 6.30 in the morning? Good morning. <laughs> so we've arrived at the studio. I have since put my hair up. 
done a little makeup. It was very early when I last checked in with you guys. This is what the space is looking like now. Chico got a head start and painted this beautiful accent wall. So Shri and her family really wanted the brand color to be incorporated in this space. It's like a beautiful burgundy, but the old color on the wall was kind of like a muddy brown. It just wasn't the right red. So I've gone for this really deep, rich red color. I mean, it has fluorescent lighting overhead, so the paint color needed to be nice and warm and comforting. For this space, I'm really inspired by all those jewel tones that the students wear in their dance performances and their costumes. It's gonna be a fun challenge to mix and match all of these colors together. Now it's time to lay a rug down in this waiting room. Everyone has to take their shoes off before they enter this side of the studio. So I could have fun and really get a rug that was comfortable and like warm for this space. This just makes the space feel inviting already. And I went for a jute material because even though people are gonna have their shoes off, I just wanted something that was a little more durable. The dance studio had this decal made of their logo. It never got put up, so I'm gonna put it right on this wall so it's the first thing you see when you walk into the waiting room. Next up, I'm bringing in these beautiful custom benches that Chico built. He's built one for my home, and I was like, please build two more for the studio. I knew that we had to do benches in here because they are way more cost effective than getting sofas. There's gonna be lots of people in here, so we need to maximize space, and we need to maximize our budget. Another great thing about this bench is that it gives them lots of space, so they can take away cushions while we're still social distancing, and then add them back in when, you know, we can all be closer together. Now I'm placing this piece of art that Shri actually painted herself. She's so talented. It looks like it belongs on this wall. Like the reds and yellows are just so perfect. I think it's really nice for her mom to have a piece of her daughter's art in this space as well. This looks awesome. So now on this wall, I'm gonna hang a little mini gallery wall. Shri sent me these beautiful photos that the studio had taken of hands and feet and dance poses. So I'm gonna hang these up on this blank wall over here. Quick tip for a gallery wall that you want to be evenly spaced. So first you wanna take your pictures and you wanna measure the space in between them. We've done about 2.5 inches in between each photo. And then you wanna measure the distance between the middle of the first and second hanger of your picture. And then you wanna get your level, put painter's tape on it, um, put a mark anywhere, and then measure out that distance between the two picture hangers. So now we can see exactly where we need to put the nails, which is right where we made those marks. For the second row, you wanna do the exact same thing, but you wanna do it vertically instead. Again, it's a piece of the studio up here on display, and it looks really great as a mini gallery wall. Like most business office spaces, this dance studio has fluorescent lighting in the waiting room and it's just, you know, it's fluorescent. If you work in an office and you also have fluorescent lighting, this might sound kind of funny, but it makes such a huge difference. Put a table lamp on your desk. It'll look kind of out of place, but it just changes everything. For me at least, it changes my mood, it changes the vibe of the whole space, and that's exactly what this tripod lamp is gonna do in here. Cute! Bringing in a floor lamp or a table lamp just makes it so much more warm and cozy, which is what we're going for. We want this waiting room to be a relaxing space for parents to wait for students. So yeah, I'm liking this. It's a good touch. Shree said the one thing they really needed in this space was a table. They had like a fold away table. I think it was kind of distorted in the corner somewhere. And I knew that a drop leaf table would be perfect here because it's space saving. They can put it up when they have pizza and coffee and little gatherings. And then they can just fold it down when they don't need it. Space saving, functional, pretty stylish. Good combo. I knew that I needed at least one more color in here. I really don't want this waiting room to be boring. So I'm placing this beautiful kind of rust colored scalloped armchair. It goes with all the jewel tones. And again, with that velvet is adding in lots of texture and layers. So even though I wanna sit in this comfy chair all afternoon, the makeover is almost done and the clock is ticking. Shri and her family are gonna be here very soon. Do we know the time? How many hours? Two hours. So it's time to bring in all those finishing decorative touches that is really gonna pull the space together. I have a faux bit of leaf fig. This room gets no light, so we needed a faux plant, but I think it looks pretty real. I'm putting it in an oversized basket just to fill the space and again, adding in lots of texture. And then a little table right in the middle with a cute little coloring book on top of it and a scented candle because they make everything better. 
I'm also bringing in tons of cushions in multiple colors and patterns. Again, layers, texture, it's all there. When you're adding in tons of cushions, colorful or not, a good rule of thumb is to go with a couple neutrals and then sprinkle in some pattern. You don't wanna do like all pattern cushions, that'll look way too chaotic. So what I like to do is pick like at least six cushions that are all in the same color palette, but that are very different. And then you just have fun with it. You mix and match all of them until you get a color combo that you like. So we've just finished the waiting room. It looks so good. We have an hour left on the clock until Shri and her parents get here. Um, so we are going to do another little mini makeover in the actual dance studio. Though it's not really that mini. We are redoing this entire wall. This massive wall in an hour. <laughs> So we are making over this entire gallery wall. It was yellow before, none of the frames were level. It just didn't look like put together. And this wall is really special. It takes about a decade of training to be up on this wall. And basically when a dancer is ready to do their first solo to live music, they get ready for the performance, they get their photo taken, and then their picture goes up on this hall of fame. So we're making a new and improved Ari Gatrum hall of fame. We've taken all the photos down, reframed them into classic black frames. We've labeled them with the student's name and the year. And now we're going to put them up, but making sure we're leaving lots of room on either side so that Prava can add more frames as the years go on. I am so honored to have done this makeover for Prava. Even though she doesn't have a storefront or, you know, sells like products, she really embodies the spirit of what being an entrepreneur is. She's taken so many risks in this 15 years. She works seven days a week. And I think that so many people can relate to her story right now. If you're thinking of starting your own business, like Prabha but don't know where to start, I have a really great resource for you. Sometimes entrepreneurship doesn't look like the thing we first think of, which is selling a product or, you know, making handmade candles or selling art online. For some people, it can look like playing video games. It can look like becoming a self-published author, or it can look like selling a service like your photography skills. And that's where Shopify comes in to help you figure out what that entrepreneurship journey looks like for you. There's an awesome blog post linked down in the description box from Shopify that lists 19 kind of outside the box entrepreneur opportunities that you could start doing today. So make sure you click that link. There's tons of resources there to get you started. And the thing I love most about Shopify is they really help you get started. Cause I think that's the hardest part for so many people. So we're moments away from revealing this space to Prabha. And just a reminder, she has absolutely no idea what is happening. Shri, her sister and their dad are all in on the surprise. They're bringing Prabha to the studio, having her close her eyes and and I can't wait. I feel so nervous, more nervous than I ever have before. Don't open your eyes, okay? No. Keep it closed. What are you guys doing? Okay, you can go up to the door, no? No. no, no. Oh my goodness. Close it properly. Does daddy have to shut his eyes? Yeah, because daddy will say something. Ma, no matter what, don't open your eyes. We have a surprise for you. <laughs> I have no idea. Where are you taking me? Okay. Okay, just stay here. Don't open your eyes, okay? No. Keep it closed. Okay, open your eyes. Oh. <laughs> it looks wow. so good. Gorgeous. It looks amazing. Oh my god. Wow. It looks so good, right? Oh my god. So awesome, guys. Oh, it is numbered and all named and all. Yeah, it's like fully labeled, ma. See? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Ma, you haven't even noticed, ma. <laughs> we have, um, this is Alexandra. She's here. She's been making over our space today as a surprise for you. Oh my goodness. This is my dream come true project. Okay, so we have another surprise for you. This is the same thing. This is 
so wow. Actually, wow. Like this is no way. This my waiting room. This is so nicely done. Oh Wait, let's go in. Goodness. So that's a table for when you guys have your pizza parties. You just pull it up. That's amazing. Where did you get these from? <laughs> I'm more surprised Wait, than mine. Ma, look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine people can sit here comfortably without foldable patio chairs. I, I know I'm biased, so but this, is, is, your, so this nice. is my favorite makeover ever. Yeah, wow. actually. Like, I'm biased, but... Really? And this is so useful. Like, what a practical thing. Like, I've seen so many art studios. This is so practical. Out of the box thinking. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. You guys like it? You we love it so, so yeah. much. Thank you so yeah, much. Thank you I have so to much. say, it was so such an honor to do this for you, and your no, daughters you and your so husband think so highly oh. of you. And I just did not expect this. <laughs> I, mean, I, I need to sit down. <laughs> yeah, why don't you sit on your new this velvet is chair? Wall. It's like an accent yes. wall. So we get to Can't. keep all this. Yeah, Ma, it's not stage. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> another surprise. <laughs> <laughs> it's a stage for the day. Okay. So many people are yeah, going I to wish, really enjoy this space. I really wish we could put a camera there and I want to see the reaction of those parents who come in. Yeah. Oh, that's because so I have nice. like a good over 100 students, right? Like 125 students. So I'm just waiting to see their reaction. That makes me so happy. Oh yeah, like yeah. a lot of people oh, are going like, to enjoy this space. Beautiful. Oh, this really, really grateful. Unbelievably beautiful. I'm yeah, thank so you glad. so much. I, thank you guys. Oh my goodness. Well, that was an emotional reveal. I have goosebumps. It was just so amazing to give back to an entrepreneur like her. I'm feeling very happy, very disheveled and sweaty. That was an intense day. If you guys wanna see more makeovers just like this one, they keep getting better and better. So please join our family here at Make My Space Work. Hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below of what kind of office space you wanna see next, and we will see you next time. Bye.